How's everybody doing tonight? We're gonna, gonna say quick quick hellos there to the people in chat already. I uh, see that we have uh, Meg in here already. Kenny's in here already. Danny D, Michelle Leonardo. I'm not trying to ignore you guys, but I need to jump into this. So, well, look at the ingredients over here, and hello. So, oops, all over the map here. So I've got the oven preheating already. I've already made some mashed potatoes. I got my ground beef. Okay, some onion, oil, salt and pepper. Ketchup, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and I have some frozen veggies. I'll talk about those when I get to those. So first of all, we're gonna bring it down so you can see what's cooking. No, Louie, no, Troy, can't meet this guy. So we're gonna turn the fry burner on over about medium because we don't want to be here all day cooking it says about a tablespoon of oil uh, i got a little bit extra meat here so a little extra in there I'll let that oil heat up for a minute i'm just gonna silence my phone so it doesn't start beeping at me it's kind of big again so we're gonna heat up some oil in the pan this is one medium onion. I'm just cranking it up a little bit so we can get it started. It says about, I, I put the recipe in the description. It says about four servings of mashed potatoes. I just make what I think looks good. <laughs> um, probably got enough to make a couple smaller uh, things here. So I'm going to get these cooking up a bit so that they uh, soften. Just on me. How's everybody doing today? It's been a long day. I'm not going to go into that, it's just been a day. <laughs> I was going to preheat the other pan, but I should have. What else we got in here? A little pneumatic rat pack, Troy. We got two Troys in here. I know the other Troy is in Florida, getting ready to go on the cruise in a couple days. And his wife are taking a few days doing some sightseeing. I'm gonna cut the uh, beef over here so it's ready to put in when I get to that point. We're starting to sizzle. This is a fairly quick recipe, like I think the most part of it was doing the mashed potatoes, but if you have leftover mashed potatoes from you know, a meal, and I'm doing a little extra because we really like shepherd's pie and probably wouldn't last more than one meal, so if I want some leftovers, I need a little bit extra meat and a little extra potatoes. The sauce is quite easy, especially with all that sauteing there. I'm going to make up the sauce. That way it's ready. So the sauce is half a cup of ketchup and a quarter cup of, of uh, tomato juice. I don't usually put tomato juice in because it's just a waste of a part of a can of tomato juice. I don't like the taste of tomato juice. So I usually end up doing so doing a quarter or a quarter of tomato juice and a half a cup of ketchup. I just do three quarters of a cup of ketchup. And I put that in the description as well. 
And then we have a tablespoon of mustard. And we also shake up the mustard and ketchup first so that it'll be like liquid at the beginning. And I should make my cards but I eyeball. And then a teaspoon of Worcestershire. And of course, eyeball again. Yeah, of course, this one. <laughs> a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Yeah. Just one teaspoon. <laughs> I'm not going to do that with the pepper. <laughs> Choppy things that were came from Chester, or uh, I know V picked one up at Walmart in the States. This is kind of handy for breaking up the meat. I want to get this brown. It's a great part of this is by the time you put it in the uh, casserole dish. It's already pretty much cooked. So we're basically just kind of browning up the, uh, getting a little bit of brown, brownness, <laughs> golden browns on the uh, potatoes. That's up to you. Like, it's only about 15, 20 minutes in the oven. So we keep stirring this around on the other side. Hello, V. Welcome in. Hope your day is going okay. Oh crap, we didn't want that to happen. You didn't see that. I just threw some onion and meat on the stove. Not too bad though. I'll clean it up after. And like some people like this house. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's grab the onion bits. <laughs> It was on for a minute to keep the heat in. I'm just going to set that off to the side. Couldn't use that. Not that you can see much of the steam in there. I'm just going to put that stuff back in the fridge while well, that's cooking. It's easier to clean up as you go. It's 
just feel like the watch pot never boils. It's taking longer than I planned, but I used more meat, so. Crank it up a little bit more. Yeah, everybody's chatting there. Oh, you good? Hello, Kenny. Hello. How is everybody? I'm doing good. Can everybody see me and hear me okay? I hear you just fine. Look good. <laughs> having a visit with Papa before you leave tomorrow? Yeah, I'm having a good good visit with Dad. While uh, considering this is going to be my last day before I leave tomorrow. Yeah, you're going to be gone for a while. Yeah, I'm going to be gone for almost seven weeks. And, and, uh, All packed up, ready to go? Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, put, I got a few little things here and there tonight to pack, but, but other than that, I'm pretty well packed. That's good. I, I'd stayed up most of the night anyway packing, so I didn't go to bed before 5, 5.36 o'clock. I will, Meg, you too as well. Uh, Y'all have a blast and safe travels as you go on that cruise. Have the best time of your life and enjoy, make memories that will last a lifetime. Soak up every minute, every second of it. So it like, takes lots of pictures and video, but don't spend all your time looking through the camera. Take time mm -hmm. to enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Yes. Most definitely. Yes, but, yes. So I kind of noticed with some of the people on the cruise, there was, there was a lot of this going around. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, put the camera down for a while. Just enjoy the show or your meal or whatever. Yep. So I'm looking forward to hearing and seeing their experiences when we get when they get back. Yes, me too. I, uh, uh, I, I'm looking forward. I'm hoping that the snow will be melted by the time I get to Michigan. <laughs> well, it has been a little bit here. I'm not too far away, but it has a little bit here, but I was looking at the temperatures and it's not supposed to get too high above freezing for the next couple of weeks. So I'm not excited about that. I want the snow gone. I want to be able to go out and do stuff. Yeah. That's almost done brownings. Oh. oh my goodness, I could have well die here in that Troy. Can't maintenance guy. Thanks for that seventy gigabytes. Yeah, don't get any more cover to that. I could have well die here in that Troy. No, oh, they were talking about that at the grocery store when I was there today. Oh, we're supposed to be getting more. And I'm like, bite your tongue. We don't need any more. Okay, so that's what, 99% brown. I'm going to throw my sauce in there. Speaking of Troy, has anybody heard from uh, Troy S. on whether he's made it uh, safe and sound to his destination? Well, they flew down hmm. yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. No. They flew down on Tuesday. Yeah. Because I know that's sightseeing. <laughs> There's been a couple of people asking me if I've heard from them, and I said, no, I haven't. And they're, they're more than likely going to be off-grid for a few days. Yeah. Vacation. 
So this recipe calls for 300 grams of frozen veggies. Um, so 300 grams, I went and stored the smallest bags I could get with 750 grams. So I thought, well, I'm going to measure it out. we got a little scale here, so I measured it out. I've got peas and carrots, and i got corn. And when I come out to, when I kind of did half and half, measuring out the 300 grams, it's about a cup of each. So I'm going to throw those in there. That looks yummy, there, Michael Ann. Looks like it'll make your tongue slap your brain good. It will. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna let this kind of come to. It says a boil, but it's kind of maybe mixed in there. Probably could have put extra sauce in there, but sometimes I do when it gets too soupy. I'll turn that down a little bit. Bring it to boil, simmer for a little bit. Let's simmer and cover it, but I need to cover it up. Heat up those veggies. And then the other pot over here, I got lots of mashed potatoes. Let that meat and veggie combo heat up. Turn it down too far. I'm gonna have to go back and read the chat afterwards. <laughs> I just want to kind of heat this up a bit so that the veggies aren't frozen. Get them started. And then I'm going to throw everything in the pot and then it goes into the oven for about 15 20 minutes. At 350, and I've already got the oven preheated. Look here. I read. I read the chat after Troy's staying with us in Tampa, so okay. Troy's going to be staying with Meg in Tampa, so she'll see him tomorrow. Good to know. And I, I have a little something I made. Meg seems to be the only one in here, but. If the uh, other cruisers watch late the replay, here's to the cruisers. cruisers whether you're in here now or you're watching the replay okay. so we got that bubble in there Slop it all over the place. I've been known to do that, so I'm using a couple smaller casserole dishes. Turn that off. Eat 
you know, they were coming, the two of them. That's making my mouth water just sitting here watching. The smell of it's making mine water. <laughs> If I could just jump through that screen. <laughs> I tried something today that Amber had me try it was Oreo Oreo flavored popcorn. Oreo flavored popcorn, did you say? Yeah. That sounds and good. It, tasted, it, just, it tasted just like an Oreo cookie. Yeah. It, it was really good. What about that? They, uh, she said they had that. They had Twix. They had Butterfinger. I think I had one somewhere, and I can't remember where it was. Yeah, that, that she said that she said they had that that those different flavors in the store when she got those. Boy, you I talk about a, you, you talk one. about a cookie. Mm, those things are addictive. If you ain't careful, you just sit there and eat the whole bag by yourself. Who oh, told me to? She, she said, no, don't eat all of it now. I, you could have some, but you don't. <laughs> she remembers how I tore into that uh, deer jerky. <laughs> <laughs> now, some of those things you, you, know, you start snacking on when you get distracted watching something, and the next thing you know, it's empty. <laughs> yeah, well. She she knows how good I love she knows how good I love deer jerky now. So I can tear up some deer jerky. You can have all the deer jerky, I won't take any from you. Hey, you not a fan of deer jerky? Um I've got a so so on jerky as it is. I'm just gonna back you guys up a bit so I can open the oven. Yeah. There's one. There it says 15, 20 minutes, let's put it on for 15 so we got it. Oops. So that we can get it out in time with the live ends. I'm just gonna put my camera down for a second. I know Meg remembers that time I think last year I tore into that fudge. Yeah, she remembers that time. I'm sure. I can imagine. I like sweet things too, so. All right. So we got that in the oven. That only took me, what, 20, 25 minutes to get that started. Goes in the oven for 15, 20 minutes. And that's done. That sounds good, Camp Maintenance Guy. I can't wait to try those. You ate like a pound of fudge in two minutes. That was a year ago. A year ago tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> last year? Yeah, it was. Well, the thing was, the first time I tried it, uh, I was trying to get her to help me film it, you know, doing taste test. But for some odd reason, my phone would not would not film it. And so, and and uh, so they went and got me some more. Well, there was it got 
<laughs> it got gone before I could even try it. So they had to go another time <laughs> and get me some more to try because one of the other YouTubers wound up finding it in their room and had snatched and had had found it and got it and I didn't know it. I was like, because I had it sitting in one spot and I was like, where did that front go? Because I know I had done it. <laughs> That's what we get for bringing fudge to the party. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, but, uh, but yeah, and then so I wound up, so I wound up trying it on a live stream. I wound up doing a live stream and trying it live and bringing Meg up. And because uh, I had her describe the names of those types of fudges that I tried. And boy, I, I I really like those fudges. I haven't had some good fudge in a while. But nobody around here. I well, you no know, the one. Hey, Crystal. I hope you get to film better here soon. Hey, Crystal. The one store at the mall that used to make all the chocolate and fudge and all that stuff isn't there anymore. And they're only up at the market once or twice a week. Their lease didn't get renewed because the jewelry store that was beside them decided to expand. Like we needed a bigger jewelry store. I think we had like five of them in the one mall. Oh well. I don't go to the mall much anyways. <laughs> you might you must be the type that's not much into shopping. Well, I don't have a vehicle, so if I want to go to the mall, I have to take the bus or get somebody to give me a ride. And I really don't have the money to throw around right now at junk. <laughs> yeah. So I do need to go out soon to get uh, a thing for my phone. So but that might not be till the end of the month. Feeling real now, just checked into my flight. Ooh, I guess that really makes it. <laughs> yeah, I remember that because it was like the 24 hours before or whatever it was. I'm excited and I'm not even going. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for everybody that is going on that cruise. Love to be the little fly on the wall watching everything going on. But <laughs> hmm. To wait and see. But Para DJs on that cruise, so you never know what they're going to show. If they catch <laughs> catch some of our. Yeah, Para DJ. Are they on that cruise? That's what I heard. Which would be good publicity for helping answer cruising. If they can get them talking about it. Because they have a lot of followers. And. I just seen something this afternoon that Helping Hands ugh, Helping Hands for Cruising YouTube channel went from about 140 some subscribers yesterday to over 400 subscribers. So this is for Helping Hands for Cruising. Since they're almost halfway to the thousand, all we have to do is get them over the thousand, get them monetized. What a! <laughs> hey, oh, baby. There she goes. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see it? Wait, wait, wait. I can see it. Oh, let loose Thursday at 7 p.m. Call me, me. And there's a little thumbs up. Well, I don't have a thumbs up on mine. Well, mine's a little smaller dollar store thing. I got that other dollar store too. Hey, Kenny. Hello, beautiful people hey. in chat. Hey, V. How are you? I'm here. 
I'm looking forward to tomorrow. What's TGIF? <laughs> J, but I'm looking for no J. I hear ya. So were you making shepherd's pie? Yes, I was. Because I had you unmuted, so I'm like, just, was just watching. It's in the oven. It's got <sighs> about eight more minutes. Did you put cheese on top? No, I don't put cheese on top of mine. Oh, did you put gravy in the meat? I put the sauce in the meat. Okay, then you know. There's a sauce. Hello, yeah. hello, Amy. Yum, yum. My question is, is why do they call it shepherd's pie? Well, on t t if you want to be really technical, this is actually what they refer to as cottage pie because shepherd's pie has sh <laughs> has lamb in it. Ground mm. lamb as a shepherd, sheep. Yeah. Mm. I did a poll and everybody said that's shepherd's pie. <laughs> And I agree with you. I agree with you, Kenny. You and I are gonna fight through the screen to get to that. It's a good thing I made it too. <laughs> That's your brain good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna bring, we're gonna bring Kenny to Walmart, drop four hundred dollars in groceries, and then bake all these things. He'll have food. He'll have a luggage full of food, like a cooler to bring. Mm. And Kenny, I'm coming to your house. You're coming to my house. Yes, if you get if you get these ladies buying stuff for you and cooking for you. Well, there's been a hot sauce I've been wanting to send to Kenny, but it's like I didn't want to send it through the, the mail because everything was getting broken and stuff. I didn't want to carry it in my luggage in case it got broken, so I might just have to bring it over or send it over with them. When, when he's here. When I'm in Michigan, I could possibly pick it up then, or you know, uh, when I come over across the border, and because I'm bringing my passport. That's good. That's good. <laughs> over the bridge for some bridge fries. Let's try bridge fries. He also wants to try poutine with, while he's here. Poutine. Blah, 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 poutine. So, I know. Okay. I know the Putin is the the gravy and the and the cheese curds with fries. So, what exactly what is bridge fries? <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. Can I describe it in one word? Are you ready, Kenny? Wait, wait, my light is too bright. I don't want to scare you away. Deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not, we're not, getting, we're not getting to put in at where we get French fries, because unfortunately, they don't use cheese curds. I was gonna say they don't use cheese. I because I asked. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure the OMG put in down the road here does. Or V just brings the cheese curds. The squeaky cheese curds. Oh, I love squeaky. And the brown gravy. Nice hot fries. Mm. Once you go squeaky cheese, you don't go back. Ask Meg, it's deliciousness. Mm. Then we got it on June 4th. Meg just checked in. Yeah, just checked into her flight. I think I said it was June 4th. Screenshot. Oh, blow it up. Blow it up. Sorry, yeah. June 1st to the 4th. Putin Fest. <gasps> Putin uh, Fest. Remember when we went with Michael Ann last year? Yeah, when is that June again? 1st to the 4th. June 1st to the 4th. He's like, drooling already. <laughs> What we pay fifteen for the, the the trio? That wasn't a bad deal. You wasn't have, bad at all. You have to train that radio personality to see if he he learned how to say "pitin" right. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, "Do you remember me, buddy?" He'll be like, "Not the French girl." 
Penny, when are you yeah. going out to Michigan? Uh, it will be uh, after Sunday. After, uh, it'll be um, no, I... Sunday sometime. I'll be heading. I'm actually meeting at the Michigan and Ohio border, meeting Crystal at the Mi Michigan and Ohio border. But I found out uh, last night um it's like a 10 hour drive from Helen Georgia yep. so yeah so I don't know if Jay is going to want to drive that full 10 hours or not well you said you're going with the church service and then the uh yeah and I don't know what time we plan on leaving <coughs> that Sunday afternoon, it'll be sometime Sunday, late Sunday when I leave Helen, Georgia. But see, I'm figuring she's going to want to stop uh, somewhere along the way yeah. and take a break, uh, get gas, pit stop, and possibly rest for a couple hours and then go again. Uh, because Gotta work I, with Crystal too because she's not gonna want to be in the middle of the night picking you up. <laughs> no. Yeah. And driving and she wants me to keep her posted. Um so will I be doing a stop at Trader Joe? Now that I have no idea. Oh, <gasps> I don't even know what Trader's what is Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is the coolest grocery store you guys have in America. Where are those located at here? I know I we stopped at one in Ohio. No, that was the Air and Space Museum. No, the Trader Joe's deal with the teardrop. Remember when I made a sandwich and the guy was like, Wow, what is this thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It was a little parking lot. Well, was like, and he goes, you fit small in anywhere with this. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, because it was a small parking lot. That's why people were impressed with it. Mm. I booked my first cruise in June 2024. I'm taking the Queen Mary 2 going from England to New York City. Not a traditional cruise, but it'll be awesome. That is pretty cool. Okay, can I make it funny for Nick? Nick, you got a girlfriend. She's named Queen Mary. He's taking the Queen Mary, so I thought that was his guest. He doesn't want to tell us what cruise line, because we're all going to be on it. He doesn't want to tell us, right? Eleven in the house and only eight thumbs up. Come on, friend. Thank you. Well, that's why I said it was like thumbs up. And he says, I thought you were going to Australia. He is as well. I don't know what days. I know today I spoke with Jay last night and she had stopped somewhere in Pennsylvania for gas. And then she was going to drive for maybe like an hour or so more, stop again for the night, rest. And then uh, today, I don't know what time she was going to be leaving, but uh today she was going to be traveling through Virginia all day. So there we go. I don't know. Ooh, that looks good, Michael. Oh, wait a minute. We have to oh, I can't. I was gonna put your big screen, but I don't have control. I was like big screen. Listen, you can hear it sizzling. It looks so good. I'm gonna dive through the screen. I'm gonna beat you there, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny's like, um, I'm just going to lay like this. <laughs> I'm just going to sit for a couple minutes and then okay. I'll, serve, I'll serve some up so you can see it. I, I have my pickled celery. I'm ready for, for, for the accompaniment. Need a bit of pickles with that. Okay, I'm ready, Michael Ann. Oh, la, la, he's going on Cunard. You're going on Cunard? You're going on the, the U-Duck? That's the uh, 
That's in the oh, more yeah. expensive class of spaceships. At, at, sorry, cruise ships. Yes, I know. The canard is one that allows pet or dogs, was it, or something? So, Kenny, where's JJ leaving from? It ain't. Well, Mark has some cool stuff. He's in another. Maybe I'm just thing. in time for dinner. Went to Australia, Japan, and England all on the same trip. I can fly directly to Tokyo from Minneapolis, so I'm going to start there before. Oh, Mr. World Traveler. Holy smokes. Mr. Bones is in the house. Hello, Mr. Bones. Welcome. Making you hungry. I think my dinner is ready to see the view. I'm eating my hair. Buy my earrings and jewelry at your world market. Maybe. <clears throat> Let me see. So, Michael Ann, the great debate at my house. Do you eat your shepherd's pie just as is? Do you put ketchup? Do you put sour cream? Do you put extra gravy? Do you put extra pepper? I put it in my mouth. Steve's like, it's good to eat it. Is. I don't put ketchup on it because there's ketchup in my sauce. Mr. Bones knows him. He's raising them for him. <sighs> if it ain't grandma's ketchup, it can't go on there. It has to be grandma's ketchup. It's the best. Here we go. Oh, I'm diving through. I'm going to beat Kenny. I'm at it. You missed it, Kenny. Mm -mm, that was so good. Not grandma's ketchup has got Heinz ketchup. Right and, yes. And French's mustard. <laughs> not, not sponsored, but should be promoted. Speaking of dinner, me and Dad are actually having uh, what looks like a uh, sloppy Joe. I got sloppy Joe, tater tots, and and uh corn he nice. got sloppy joe's mashed potatoes and corn they had see when when they have an extra tray when they give out the patients they have an extra tray so i get the extra tray usually <laughs> <laughs> so, I like stop in melbourne and australia i don't want to go all the way to the continent without but, to um, be sean and lana <laughs> well, hopefully, they're awesome people. Yeah. And like I, I said, congratulations to Hope well, Yes for cruising on hitting Woo. 400 subs. Sorry. I'm having too much fun. Yuppie! Oops. Also doing two luxury train trips to Central Australia. All over the place. Gonna be lots of exciting. I have to ask Nick, are you a renter or a house owner? I've always wanted to ask Nick. I run to the grocery store. See you all later. Okie dokie. See you, Lillian. Grab some marshmallow, marshmallow fluff. These tea tots are really good. On a scale one, ten. Show us what a tater tot looks like, because Steve doesn't know what that looks like. Steve, look. It's like a little. It's like a hash brown. Yeah, it's like yep. a little round hash brownie. A little cylindrical hash brown. I bought smiles today. Oh. I haven't had any in a long time when they were on sale at No Frills. So I was like, I'm taking it back. I need to eat my sorbet if I want anything in the freezer. They gave him like sloppy Joe sauce, but no meat. He said, that's what they gave dad over. I don't know. I, I haven't, I'm fixing to dig into my him. Papa, who's cheek? Whose peaches did you pinch? 
Because if you burnt somebody's cheeks, they would have given you chili, I'm sure. Yes, we have the McLean Spoiled Mama ready to call me V in 15 minutes. Mm. Yeah. Sloppy Joe. Definitely Tim. Woohoo! Is it spicy or not spicy? Come on, eat your, you tell us we're laying on now. It's okay. Did you put some hot sauce on that, Kenny? No. You don't carry like the whoosh, whoosh, emergency hot sauce for yourself? Oh, no, I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't usually do it again. I pray that it'll break because okay. I carry enough stuff on me already without adding more. We <laughs> we gotta get a hot sauce holder for his his wheelchair. Come on, or what do you call it? It's not a wheelchair. It's a Walker. Device. <laughs> the girl loves hot sauce, and she was, she had the little bottles of whether it was Tapatio or a Chalupa that was like this big, <laughs> just a nice little bit or purse size. So I play this one more time for the cruisers. Second, so pin that link up at the top. Now I'll go back over here. Find StreamYard. There we go. Yay! My toy purse is to travel around the world just one trip. You rent your room, so I keep it cheap. Actually, the only way I could top that coming to trip to space. <laughs> There's no trains in space, though. <laughs> wow, this doesn't make sense. I'm trying to. I'm used to doing everything on my phone, so this is why I was like, how do I share a channel? Tasty. Other than mashed potatoes could have been better. Mashed potatoes is mashed potatoes. There was no milk here, so I had to do extra, use extra margarine. That's what I, that's what I was thinking. We, we did. Nick, that's what I thought it was, but I just want to make sure. You didn't have to answer me publicly if you don't want to. Just, I'm still waiting for my email from all the green... Irish stuff that you saw, and I still didn't get an email with some pictures. Hmm. Oh, and a picture of you in your new suit, just by the way. Good to get my uh, St. Patrick stuff for next week. Oh, yeah, it's St. Patty's Day. Oh, it was the day before. Does that mean I can have a shamrock shake, 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 shake? Ew. You hmm. like it? Not like anymore. Peppermint. Not anymore. They, the first time it came out, it was good. The last couple of times, it wasn't all that Maybe good. I'm going to make myself another adult shamrock shake again. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, can Luanda, can Luanda assist myself? <laughs> <gasps> I'll have the green St. Patty's on the cruise. Oh, scratch, scratch. That would be cool. See how they... How they celebrate St. Patty's Day on the cruise. Luanda's fantastic. Thank you, Luanda. Did you guys see Luanda? She's our, our masseuse. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. Okay, beautiful people, I'm trying to... Okay, can you guys tell me this? When you're on a YouTube channel, 
how do I copy and paste their channel or share their channel link? Well, I'm used to doing it on the phone, but not on the... Because it says join, subscribe, but how do I share? I just highlight the... Yeah, okay, I get it. I'll highlight here instead. I don't know. There we go. I figured it out. So I just have to talk it out and then it makes sense. <laughs> Well, welcome to my chemo brain. I read it, it doesn't make sense. I say it out loud, it makes sense. It's all good. Well, all I can say is that that looks delicious. Tastes pretty good too. I will also have pie day. <gasps> but the dilemma is what pie you're going to have on pie day. You're supposed to have pie for breakfast, pie for lunch. Pie for supper and pie for snack. I'm just saying. You know a pizza pie? Pizza pie. You pie can have not, quiche in the pie. Pie is not part of the four basic food groups. Yes, it is. It has three letters. P-I-E. Pretty ingenious exceptions. See, it's part of the exception list. Pizza pie, she said. I would do quiche pie in the morning. What is that the weird? So V I E is V. And P I E is pie. No, it's P P I is pie. Well, the pie, pie you eat is P I E. Yes, but that's in English. I'm in French. Just like weird and bleak. Oh, V I I E. But we don't call you lie. <laughs> it's like some people say tomato, some people say tomato. Or Illinois or Illinois. Whatever. Okay. I'm flying, beautiful people. See, oh, Kenny. You scared Kenny. Oh, I didn't even pinch his cheeks. You scared poor Kenny right off the screen. He's He's I'm blaming it on Steve, who's way over there, Michael Ann. Just, just reach out and smack him, Michael Ann. Oh, wait a minute. Michael Ann, don't smack me. <laughs> Ow. Michael okay. Ann. That was my nose. Okay. Thank Love you, people. <laughs> Kick me out. No, I'll leave. About five minutes ago, we'll do a call me me. Everybody finds smile my red call me me. That's what they showed except for yep. Yeah, but nerds are cool. I like nerds. They're cool, cool people. I suppose all of us that are into things like Pokemon or live action role play or Dungeons and Dragons are nerds too. Speaking of which, this Saturday I'll be going to the tavern night for a live action role play or LARP. And two weeks from tonight I'm going to be doing a LARP 101. So anything you wanted to know about LARP, I'm hopefully gonna be able to explain that to you. Next week we're going to be doing essential oil. Will be a green one, green bottle. So I'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Maybe I'll give a sneak peek in the uh, description. Um, will be the day before St. Patty's Day. We, we may talk a little St. Patty's Day. You can wear your green day early, whatever. And then I don't know. Sure, what I'm doing for April. I know the last week of March we're making cookies with essential oil. I'm gonna do lemon, lemon to cream cheese cookies. I'm debating on doing some snickerdoodles too. We'll see. Maybe we'll get both. Depends on how much time it takes me to, and then you have how many ingredients I have here. So I'll put the, the recipe in the 
chat or not the chat the details so go ahead try to make it for yourself you adjust the, the grease as many I, I do extra because I have people with big appetites that like sherbet's pie and I'm used to making it big for on Sunday night dinner so I used to make a big casserole it's like this big but I got one full one there and one still three quarters full. I just took my serving out. So hopefully you get enough for leftovers tomorrow night. Although I did buy some really nice asparagus. So I don't know. It tasted pretty good too. I think maybe I should have doubled the uh, sauce though. But it's good. I enjoyed it. And the uh, mashed potatoes, well, I got to make the mashed potatoes and there was no milk. So it was a little, a little extra margarine, a little, uh, and I put a little bit of water in there just to soften it up, but it was good. Yeah, um, I got asparagus at the grocery store. It was just a little, it was small, a little bit smaller than my finger and it was on sale. So I was like, yep, get the asparagus. <laughs> It's okay, Kenny. It's funny, I had picky eater, but my picky eater loves asparagus. We all love it for some reason. I never had it until we moved here and my youngest decided to cook it one night. So tomorrow night's going to be pork chops, probably potatoes, and asparagus. Anyways, we're on the last minute. Everybody wants to head out, take a pee break. And I'll meet you over at Call Me Bees. Thanks for coming out. Bye for now.